Now, before we get started on this part, I would like to share the news that I recently got my hands on a Blue Yeti microphone. So, my voice recordings should be very high quality from now on. So, I hope you enjoy it. Hello again, Sage here, back with part 5 of my dawn run of Pokemon Platinum. Now, the first item on the agenda was to challenge the Eterna City Gym, which was a bit rough, because what I did was lose. A lot. <laughs> That's right, no matter what, I could not beat Gardenia with my current Pokemon. So, desperate times called for desperate measures, and I ended up bringing in a team member earlier than I had intended. That team member being Cyndaquil. Now, of course, Cyndaquil is not normally obtainable in Pokémon Platinum, so I had to turn to cheats. But let's not focus on that. With Cyndaquil on the roster, I trained it up to level 18, evolving it into a Quilava in the process, and with my secret weapon in hand, I went to Gardenia again. Quilava swept her first two Pokémon, but struggled against Rose Raid and ended up going down. But a lucky crit from Baneri's frustration took down Rose Raid and won me the battle. Yay! For low friendship! So with that done, the next task was to take down the Team Galactic base in the city. Commander Jupiter Scuntank gave Quilava some trouble, but not before he inflicted a burn, which helped Prim Primflop clean house. With the bike shop owner's Pokémon saved, we collect our reward, but on the way we run into Cynthia, who bestows upon us a Pokémon egg. Now, seasoned players will remember that this egg hatches into a toga team, and Dawn had a toga kiss. So we will be keeping this egg with us. We go to the bike shop and are rewarded with a bike, with which we can hit the cycling road. So we head there, obtain an EXP share from Lucas's dad, very useful for training toga team once it hatches, and ride down to Route 207. Now, originally, I had stopped in the Orberg City Pokemon Center, intending to continue from there, but guess what happened? I accidentally saved over my progress when starting the ROM, meaning I had to do everything over again. So, I battled Gardenia again, with Quilava sweeping this time. I battled Jupiter again, got the egg again, went down Cycling Road again. Then we were finally back on track. We traveled through Mount Coronet, having another run-in with the mystery man who doesn't seem to like human spirit. Then we continue east with some battles along the way, before finally arriving in Hartholme City. Before ending the part, I restock at the Pokémart and shack up in the Pokémon Center, cleaning my badges for good measure. Gotta take care of those badges. And with that, this chapter comes to an end. Next time, we explore the city and get our third gym battle in. Hope you enjoyed! Be sure to like if you really enjoyed and subscribe for more. I upload once to twice a week, or at least I'll try to. See you next time! With love, Sage.